I don't even know where to start. This team is so ass. Like, I just... Last week was such a fluke. Like, I don't even... You went from upsetting the Niners on their own turf to that piece of shit performance. Like, what the hell? I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like... I don't even think I could give y'all a solid post game because to be honest with you, I turned the game off like at some point when it was 17 nothing. Like I just I gave up on that game right away. Like I just And yes, I'm rocking the baby face by the way. Baby face TRL is back for a little bit. Um It's like bro First of all, the injuries were huge today. Marvin Harrison got hurt. Pretty sure Chen McBride got re-injured. Um, Bilo Nichols was out. Sean Murphy Bunting was out, even though he sucks. Mac Wilson got hurt. I'm pretty sure he came back, though. Um, I think Kaiser White got hurt, too. It's like, frick. This, these injuries are piling up, and it's only going to get worse at this point. Like Coming into this game, I did pick us to lose. I didn't think it would be a blowout. Like I didn't think Jordan Love would fucking kill us. Like, Jordan Love's not even 100% healthy right now, and he fucking kicked our ass like it was no big deal. And, like, fuck. I think, like, this game was worse than the Commanders game. Like, I don't even know. This, this game shocked me big time. Like, I really thought coming into this game we were coming off a division win. I thought we... Had a, had a decent chance to upset them in Lambeau, but the rain did play. I, I don't want to say it played that big of a factor. I mean, we got our asses kicked. It is what it is. The Packers played on the same field as us, so I can't really use that excuse. But the rain is something that this team isn't really used to playing in. So it, I knew that was going to be a factor on our part. Um, I'm not taking anything away from Green Bay, though. They did their part. They kicked our ass, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to shit on them or anything like that. I can't really say anything bad about the way they played. Um, and, of course, I knew what the I knew this team was giving us false hope when it was 24-0, and then we scored, I think, 13 straight points, where it seemed like we had a decent, small percentage chance of coming back. But uh, in reality, yeah, it, it was just false hope at the end of the day. So uh, Cardinals fall to 2-4. and four. Martin Harrison Jr. is not looking like the rookie that we expect him to be like he's just not looking good right now I mean I know he got hurt he was also ruled out for the rest of the game but it's like you gotta you, you gotta do something man you gotta get involved in some way I mean just do something like make a catch at least fuck he didn't even have one it's like I don't even know, man. I, I really don't know. It feels like one week we're happy about our team. The next week we're just back to being depressed or something like that. It's like, I, I don't even know. This team is just going through it right now. Um, I am starting to lose hope on all of our, well, I've already lost hope on our coaches, but um, as far as Kyler Murray goes, I am starting to lose a little bit of hope on him a little bit. I'm not saying he's the biggest reason we lost. I mean, he has shit coordinators and a terrible O-line, terrible head coach, this and that. So, yeah, it is Kyler mainly solely to blame? No, but, dude, it's year six. you got to find some ways to, despite the terrible coaching staff and, and such, you got to find ways to get this offense moving. It's year six, dude. you got to get it together. Like, Arch Manning is coming soon, and if you're still asked by then, we're going to be tanking for him, or at least whoever the Cardinals go for. Or It's not like it matters. Fucking Our owner's a cheapskate. He doesn't even give a shit that our team's losing right now. Um, Monty Austin Fort, you started off good. You started off as a good GM, but right now, dude, you're you're looking terrible right now. You're, you're just looking terrible right now as a general manager. So this team, like I said a couple weeks ago, something needs to change. So I'll just leave it at that. Honestly, 
I can't really give a solid post game because I didn't even watch the, the, the second half or anything like that. I kept up with it on Twitter, but other than that, I didn't really... Like, this game was out of our reach pretty much before the game even started. So, Cardinals fall to 2-4. and four. They got uh, the Chargers next on Monday Night Football. Great. We got a primetime game now. So, everyone's going to watch us get embarrassed. I'm pretty sure the Chargers are beating the crap out of uh, Denver right now. So... It is what it is. Um, Cardinals are back at it Monday night. Honestly, I'm just waiting for the Phoenix Suns at this point, even though that might be disappointing as well. I'm just waiting for basketball at this point. Cardinals have just had such a shitty start. It's not even funny. So uh, it's kind of expected, though. I didn't expect us to do that good, but hey, it is what it is. Cardinals look cardinal. So let me know what you guys think about this game. Let me know what you think about next week. Uh, but yeah, man, Phoenix Suns basketball is around the corner anyway, so... It is what it is, but that's all I got. Uh, Michael Bilwell, go fuck yourself as always, and peace out.